While well, the House Oversight Committee is investigating the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump, it happened Saturday night. This comes as investigators have revealed how the events unfolded that day and the shooter's online activity. Here's the latest from ABC News. Investigators, according to multiple law enforcement sources briefed on the probe, have found a post to the gaming platform Steam that purports to have been authored by the suspected gunman Thomas Matthew Crooks. That post reads, July 13 will be my premiere. Watch as it unfolds. Investigators are working to determine whether that post is legitimate. Lawmakers were given an unclassified briefing Wednesday, revealing 20 minutes passed between the time U.S. Secret Service snipers first spotted crooks on the roof and the time the shots were fired at former President Trump. He should have been eliminated one way or the other within one or two or three minutes. Congressional sources telling ABC News crooks came to the fairgrounds that morning for an hour and later returned at 5 p.m. Law enforcement believes this is crooks in this footage obtained by ABC affiliate WTAE wandering outside the boundaries of the rally at 5.06 p.m. about an hour before the shooting. Sources also saying he was spotted near the magnetometers and was approached by authorities after he did something suspicious. Lawmakers say the FBI's timeline shows at 5.10 p.m., Crooks is first identified as a person of interest. At 5.30, he's spotted with a rangefinder, which can be used to determine distances for target practice. At 5.52, he's spotted on the roof by the Secret Service. At 6.02, Trump takes the stage. Ten minutes later at 6.12, Crooks fires those shots. A Secret Service counter sniper spotting and then killing Crooks 26 seconds after the first shot. Sources say lawmakers were also told in the briefing Crooks purchased an ammo box at Walmart two days after Trump's rally was announced and a search of his phone revealed he looked up the dates of Trump's rally as well as dates for the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.